characteristic qualities of Otoya is present at the anterior, attached to the trunk of the animal, preceded by a dorsa at the posterior. The organism's body is bilaterally symmetrical, however, its anterior display external radial symmetry. It was a borrower that hunted prey with its eversal purposes. April Francis was a filter feeder, using his low for to extract organic matter from passing seawater. Some specimens had been found in the gut of the predator Otoya. The soft anatomy of April Francis was key to establishing the Iloids as a member of the Lophophoreta. Honeycofers are considered thus relative of Arthropoda and Tardigrada. This makes them of paleontological interest, as they can help reconstruct the ancestral arthropods. In modern zoology, they are particularly renewed for their curious mating behavior and for bearing life young. They are segmented animals with a flattened cylindrical body cross section and both an unstructured body appendage known as lopopods. Helicigenia is tubular organism with slender legs, each terminating with a pair of claws. Above each leg is a rigid conical spine. The head and tail end of the organism are difficult to identify. One end extends some distance beyond the legs and often droops down as if to reach the substrate. Recent research suggests that the extended element is an elongated head with two simple eyes, a mouth with radial teeth and pharyngeal teeth with the front of the gut. Similar to Hallucigenia, Colinsium was a small worm-like creature with spikes along its back and feeding tentates near its head. Velvet worms move in a slow and gradual motion that makes them difficult for prey to notice. Their trunk is raised relatively high above the ground, and they walk with the non-overlapping steps. The brains of Onychophora, though small, are very complex. Consequently, the organisms are capable of rather sophisticated social interaction. Lobopodians are annulated, although the annulation may be difficult to discern due to their close spacing and low relief. Their legs, technically called lobopods, are loosely conical in shape, tapering from the body to their clawed tips. In the musculature of lobopodians, the outermost muscles are longitudinal, contrary to the onychophores, which are in the innermost muscles. Diania have tempered her legs, and compared to the body, these are quite robust and spiny. Because of this spiny appearance in the rocks, the animal become known informally as walking tectus. Ovechovermus was filter filler, and this is one of the characteristics that they are classified by. The other is a small head and a thick neck. Unlike the allocygenids, which had a bulbous head and a thin leg. The adult Bonelia 
female produces a vivid green pigment in its skin, known as bonelin. This chemical, concentrated mostly in the proboscis, is highly toxic to other organisms, capable of paralyzing small animals. The annelids are a large phylum with over 22,000 extant species and have adapted to various ecosystems. Since annelids are soft-bodied, their fossils are rare. Some late Ediacaran fossils may represent annelids. The oldest known fossil that is identified with confidence comes from early Cambrian. Squidworm organs are organized in a horseshoe-shaped appearance from the head to the back. Its mouth is located in the entire front part of its body and it has no barrier protecting its pharynx. When a whale dies, its carcass falls to the seabed. Here, it provides a feast for many deep sea creatures. Worms such as Ocedax japonicus makes us of the bone when only the skeleton remains. These tube worms can reach lengths of over 3 meters and grow very slowly, with individuals living to be over 250 years old. It forms biogenic habitat by creating large aggregations of hundreds and thousands of individuals. With sunlight not available directly as a form of energy, the tube worms rely on bacteria in their habitat to oxidize hydrogen sulfide using dissolved oxygen in the water as an electron acceptor. This reaction provides the energy needed for chemosynthesis.